Hi, do you know what to do if your client ever gets an IRS notice assessing them a penalty? How do you help a client with IRS penalties? My name is Merrill Taylor with Tax Tutor. If you enjoy this video and other videos that I put out, I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below. So let's talk about IRS penalties a little bit. So uh, I wrote some uh, phrases up here, uh, FTF, FTP, FTD. What does that mean? Well, this is a way to get out of certain IRS penalties. It's called the first time penalty abatement, and it applies to failure to file, failure to pay, and failure to deposit penalties that are assessed by the IRS. So a failure to pay penalty is when somebody owed a tax and they didn't pay that tax on time. The IRS gives them a failure to pay penalty. The failure to file penalty is when somebody does not file a tax return on time. The IRS assesses them a failure to file penalty. A failure to deposit penalty is when a taxpayer is required to make a deposit to the IRS, such as a payroll tax deposit, and they don't make that deposit on time, the IRS assesses a failure to deposit penalty. So as what the IRS has come out and said is that they have a special way of abating penalties. It's called the first time penalty abatement. And this applies to somebody who has been assessed one of these penalties, failure to file, failure, failure to pay, or failure to deposit, is what they can do is they can call the IRS and if they meet certain requirements, so one of those is for the last three years, they've had no penalties assessed on their account and that they are current on, on their account as well. Being current applies to two things. They need to be current on filing their returns, so all required returns have been filed, or at least there is a valid extension filed on those returns, and they are current with their payments. Either they've paid all the tax due, or they've made arrangements to make payments of the tax that is due. If they've met those requirements, then they can call up the IRS or send a letter to the IRS and request what the IRS calls the first time penalty abatement, where you just say, hey, we've been assessed a penalty, can you apply the first time penalty abatement? I've done this a number of times on the phone with the IRS, I've called on behalf of my clients, I said, hey, we've got a failure to file penalty or failure to pay penalty, can you apply the first time penalty abatement? The agent on the phone then looks up their account, they hit a button in their account, and then it comes back and tells them whether the first time penalty abatement was accepted or not. If it was accepted, the penalty goes away, just disappears. If it's not accepted, then there's other ways to deal with that, either through a reasonable cause issue or through um, some other sort of, sort of instance that's happened. Usually a reasonable cause is, is what you have to do. Or if you have proof that uh, maybe an extension has been filed in, a, in the case of a failure to file penalty or something along those lines. So the, the, the number that you call the IRS is listed on the notice. So when they get that notice saying that they have this penalty that they've got to resolve, uh, call that number that's on the notice or as a tax professional, there is a special number with the IRS called the practitioner priority line. If you call that practitioner priority line and you have a valid power of attorney on behalf of your client, then you can request that abatement on behalf of your client and get that taken care of for them. So that's how we resolve a lot of our IRS penalties is by using that first time penalty abatement. It's a very quick, very simple, and a very easy way to help a client get out of penalties. I've saved clients thousands and thousands of dollars in penalties doing it that way. Uh, the, uh, when the first time penalty abatement applies, there's no additional questions, there's no additional issues. It's a very simple, you call up the IRS and they say, please apply the first time penalty abatement. They click the button, if it applies, the penalty's gone. If it doesn't apply, then you look at a reasonable cause or looking at some other sort of way to abate that penalty. So I hope that was helpful. If you did find that helpful, again, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below and uh, we'll be sending out uh, continued tax updates as we go along.